A creative person. Who is the creative person that you admire? Well, I really admire Mr. Tom, who is an extremely creative math teacher. Why do you admire him? For me, math is quite boring because I have to do work with long hours. I used to hate math so much before I had lessons with Mr. Tom. He has thousands of ways to teach that boring subject, which inspires me a lot. How did he become so creative? I'm not quite sure, but I think that's his inborn talent. Do people you know admire him too? Of course. All my classmates just love and respect him for his creative teaching. What is he like? He has a good sense of humor. He always tells jokes, and we just can't help laughing. Do you think creativity can be learned and practiced? Yes, I definitely do. Creativity, like any other qualities, can be trained. How is creativity important in study or work? It generates energy and makes things more inspiring. Without creativity, work and study are just dull and tiring. A celebrity. Who is a famous celebrity that you admire? Well, I'm a big fan of Miley Ray Cyrus, an American singer, songwriter, and actress. Why do you admire her? Well, she's at my age, but what she's achieved is acknowledged worldwide. What is so special about her? I just fall in love with her beautiful voice. I can't stop singing to her songs again and again. My favorite songs of hers are Jolene and Wrecking Ball. Is she well known worldwide? Yes, she is. She's a teen idol. Do you see her on TV or in reality? Most of the time I see her on TV. Do your friends love her too? Yes, they do. We usually enjoy her songs, movies together. Do you want to be like her? Yes, being a well known singer is my dream. A health problem. What health problem did you have? I had measles when I was 18. How did you have that health problem? I thought I'd catch measles from someone when they cough or sneeze. Was that serious? Not really, but it was unpleasant. I recovered after 10 days staying at home. What were some symptoms of that health problem? I had a cold and fever with a cough, a runny nose. The small grayish white spots appeared on my body, too. Did you take any medical treatment? No, I didn't. The situation wasn't serious enough to be sent to the hospital then. How could you recover from it? Well, let me see. I drank a lot of water, avoided the direct light, and I had to stay off of school for 10 days. What difficulties did you face because of that problem? I couldn't go out for a few days, which was boring. I'm not allowed to play outside, and I felt so bad about it. What do people do to prevent that health problem? By having measles vaccine. Is that health problem common in your country? Not really, due to the effectiveness of vaccination. Technological advancements. Are you a tech and gadget lover? Yes, I am. I love shopping for new gadgets. What is an important technological advancement you know? That's the emergence of online payment systems like credit cards or PayPal, thanks to the development of the internet, I think. What do you use it for? I use these services to do shopping online. Now I can book flight tickets in advance without the need to go to the agency. How long have you been using it? 
I've been using these services for around three years. Does it make your life easier? Sure, it's fast, simple, and convenient. How did it change your life? Well, I can enjoy my life more. I can do a plenty of things online like shopping, transferring money, booking tickets, and so on. How often do you use it? At least once a week. What are other technological advancements you know? There are many. Electricity, smartphone, the internet, robot, and so on. A landmark. What is a famous landmark in your hometown? Well, I can't hide my pride to talk about the Statue of Liberty. When was it built? I read on newspapers that it was constructed in 1886. Where is it? It's located on Liberty Island in New York Harbor. What does it look like? That's a woman, known as the Roman Goddess, bearing a torch and a broken chain lies at her feet. What was it made of? The main material was copper. Who was the architect? Mr. Gustave Eiffel, who also designed the Tower of Eiffel. What is special about it? Actually, it was gifted to my country, the USA from the people of France. Does it symbolize something? The statue is a symbol of freedom. We all love it and are so proud to share with international friends about it. Does it attract many tourists to come? Yep, it attracts 4 million visitors each year, according to the statistic. Handicraft items. Do you love handicraft items? Yeah, my accessories are all handmade. What handicraft item do you like? Well, I've got many items, but I really fall in love with my bamboo handbag. Where did you buy it? I bought it in a trip to the countryside. People make handicraft items from bamboo there. Why do you like it? Because it's unique. I travel quite a lot, but can hardly find a similar one. What is it made of? It's made of 100% bamboo. What does it look like? Being made of traditional material, it looks trendy though. My handicraft bag has A4 paper size, which is large enough to carry a bunch of stuff. Makeup things, a wallet, and tissues. How is it made? Luckily, I had a chance to see how it is made. People spend the whole day knitting hundreds of small bamboo fibers together to make one bag. Is it easy to make? Nope, I'm not really skillful and patient, so handcraft seems super hard for me. What is special about it? The material itself is what makes it special. It's eco-friendly as well. Does it remind you of something? Yep, it reminds me of the peaceful and quiet atmosphere of the countryside where I visited. Plastic surgery. Is plastic surgery popular in your country? Not really. People in my country are not so interested in plastic surgery. What do you think about people having plastic surgery? It's hard to say. As long as they find happiness in what they're doing, it's fine with me. Why do you think people do it? They want to gain a better look, I believe. That's understandable. Is plastic surgery bad? It's bad for health in the long run. Does it do harm to your health? Sure, there are several unhealthy substances in the medical treatments which may be harmful to your body. Do you think changing your look is a good thing? Yes, I can't deny that changing for a better appearance is what people should do, but don't abuse plastic surgery or you will face 
with serious health problems later on. Do you think the development of plastic surgery is a positive or negative trend? It's more a positive trend, I guess. Thanks to plastic surgery, people who think they don't look good can now make themselves more attractive. Do you care more about your outlook or your inner soul? As for me, the inner soul does matter more, although outside appearance is important too. What is the part of your face that you wish to change? Although I have some imperfect parts, I have no wish to change anything. I love the natural appearance my parents gave me. Success What success did you achieve? I don't know if it matters to someone or not, but passing the entrance exam to university was a huge success for me. When did you get that success? I got it six years ago. It's been two years since I left university. Was there anyone who supported you? My family supported me a lot. My mom prepared good meals for me while my dad helped me with hard math problems. Was it hard to get that success? It was hard for me since I wasn't good at academic subjects at all. Were there some difficulties in achieving success? The period before the exam was quite stressful. I was so obsessed with it that I had a serious headache. How did you get it? I stuck to books day and night. I just stopped reading and writing when I knew thoroughly about the matters. How did you feel when you were successful? I was over the moon then. I was looking forward to campus life. How did your life change after that success? I had a chance to learn my favorite major at my desired university and then got a well-paid job in an active working environment. What is your key to success? I don't particularly have any key to success. Just work hard and try your best. Everything good will come to you. Job career. What is your desired job? Well, my dream changes in accordance to age. Up to now, I would like to be a great English teacher. Is that a demanding job? Yes, I think so, although people suppose that being a teacher is easy and boring. What challenge do you have when doing that job? I have some problems with classroom management. Maybe I have to improve that skill a lot in order to be a good teacher. Is it hard to make your dream come true? Every job needs time and effort, and teacher does as well. Apart from the academic knowledge I was taught in university, I have to learn many other soft skills. Why do you choose that job? I really admired my high school English teacher, and I want to be like her. What requirements and characteristics do you need to do that job? Let's see. You need to be patient, thoughtful, and sympathetic. Does the job have something to do with your major at university? Sure, I studied English linguistics and literature, majored in English teaching. The major does support me a lot in my career path. What does the society think about your job? I'm not quite sure, but I'm proud to be a teacher, an honor job. Do you make much money with that job? Not at all. Teacher is one of the lowest paying jobs in my country. Have you ever thought of leaving your job? I haven't thought of that before, but I believe in what I'm doing right now. Competition Contest What is the most impressive competition you've entered? I took part in an eloquence competition organized by my university last year. What was it about? The competition was to find out the best public speaker in the university. Were there many participants in the competition? Yes, there were around 500 participants totally. 
What prize did you get? Well, I didn't get a very high prize, but it didn't matter. I was still happy with the result. What could you learn from the competition? I learned the way to develop ideas for a speech besides some body language tips and public speaking. Did you have to prepare a lot for the competition? Yes, I did. I read various materials about eloquence, as well as rehearsed a lot. How did you know about the competition? The competition was informed in the school poster. Did you do your best then? Yes, I think so. After the competition, I know I have to try more. Is the competition useful in your opinion? Sure. It helps students learn soft skills, as well as become more confident in life. A garden. Is there any garden that you like? Yes, I love the strawberry garden in my neighborhood. Where is it? It's in the Highland area where I live. When did you first see it? I accidentally saw it when I had a picnic in the Highland. What were planted in the garden? Strawberries, of course. There are also some boxes of cucumbers next to the strawberry beds. Why do you like the garden? I love picking red strawberries. The garden brings me closer to nature as well. What is special about the garden? The strawberries there are organic. How do people do the gardening? Keeping the beds mulched is important since it helps reduce water needs. How often do you visit the garden? Just when I have leisure time since I'm quite busy. Is there any relation between the green garden and your mood? Yes, at least for me. The green will help me chill out. Do you want to be a gardener? Honestly, no. I'm not used to manual work. Hometown. Where's your hometown? My hometown is a coastal state of U.S. Is it the city or in the countryside? I live in a suburb area. What's it known for? It's famous for tobaccos. What do people do there? Agriculture is the main industry in my hometown. Most of the people here plant and sell tobacco. How is the atmosphere there? Well, it's quite peaceful. I enjoy the fresh air here. How are people there? They're friendly and hospitable. Would you like to live in your hometown or somewhere else? Yes, I would. I just wish I could live here forever. Is it easy to find a job there? Manual work is easy to find. I'm not sure about the white-collar jobs. Is it a good environment for young people? I don't think so. The pace of life here is quite slow. If they want to work in a dynamic environment, they'd better move to the city. Is traffic congestion a big problem in your hometown? Not at all. We couldn't be happier with the traffic system here. Clothing. What is your favorite item of clothing? My favorite one is a maxi dress. I wear it when hanging out with my friends or attending parties. When did you buy it? My friend gave it to me as a birthday present when I turned 21. Where did you buy it? I had no idea where my close friend bought it. What color is it? It's blue, my favorite color. Was it expensive? Yes, I guessed. Why do you like it? Well, I'm kind of short and plump, so it's hard to find a piece of clothing that fits me perfectly, but that one does. I also love the color and style. Do clothes help build your personal brand? Yes, I agree with it to some extent. I still believe that personal brand can be built from the inside rather than the outside. However, what you wear also plays an important role in saying who you are. 
Have you seen anybody wearing unusual clothes? Yes, I have, but I don't think any fashion style is weird. I believe everybody has their own taste of fashion. How has your fashion style changed recently? I always wore a formal shirt and trousers whenever hanging out years ago, but now I change into casuals like jeans and t-shirt. An advertisement. What is your favorite advertisement? I'm quite impressed with the advertisement about Surf, a laundry detergent made by Unilever. Where did you see it? I accidentally saw it on TV two years ago. What happened in the advertisement? The ad told a story of a family in which the children all loved their stepmother due to the white shirts she prepared for them. Why do you like it? I just can't stop loving the story in the ad. It's such a sweet story. Was there any famous actor or actress in the advertisement? Not at all. The actors were not very well known, I think. Did it attract much attention? I have no idea, but I saw it in many public places. What do you like the most in the advertisement? Well, the vivid images and sound effects did attract me. Do you believe in advertisements? Not really. Ads always say good things and neglect to mention bad things about a product for obvious reasons. How have advertisements changed recently? They're more modern. Digital marketing has proved successful in many fields. A project. What project did you work on? I made an English poster about our environment. Was that an indoor or outdoor project? The project was carried out mostly outdoor. Only the last phase was conducted indoor. Who was involved in the project? My teammates and an advisory teacher. What did you do? We had a field trip to the countryside where we studied insects and plants. Was it a successful project? Yes, we received compliments from our professor. Who was your advisory teacher? Our science teacher, Mr. John. We learned a lot from him. What did you learn after the project? I learned how to write content and decorate posters. Did you like your partners? Yes, most of them were very friendly and responsible. I particularly liked Michael, the leader of my team. What did you get after the project? After the project, I know how to work in a team and cooperate well with my teammates. A wedding. Have you ever attended someone's wedding? Who was he or she? Yes, a lot. But the most memorable one is my best friends. Who went with you? I went with one of my classmates. Where was the wedding organized? It was held in a restaurant downtown. What did people do at the wedding? They enjoyed wedding feast, sang, and danced together after giving the couple best wishes of everlasting happiness. What did the bride and groom wear? The bride wore a white wedding gown, while the groom wore a black suit and tie. What was the most interesting ritual in the wedding? Exchanging rings is the ritual I'm quite interested in. Are weddings a special event of one's life in your country? Yes, along with birthdays. Do people in your country get married early? Not really. The average age to get married for women is 27, and for men is 29. What is the ideal age to get married in your opinion? Well, 27 would be my ideal age. Women are most charming and mature at that age, I guess. How have weddings changed recently? The most noticeable change is the reduce of rituals in a wedding. There used to be more steps in wedding years ago than there are now. A coffee shop. What's your favorite coffee shop? My favorite one is the coffee house. 
a local coffee shop in my neighborhood. Where is it? It's 500 meters far from my house. How often do you visit that coffee shop? Every weekend when I hang out with my friends, the coffee house is always our first choice. Who do you go with? I meet my friends there. They love the place, too. What drinks does it serve? Many kinds. Coffee, chocolate, cocktail, smoothie, tea, juice of various tastes. My favorite one is hot chocolate. Are the waiters there friendly? Yes, they couldn't be nicer. Do you like the decorations of that coffee shop? Yes, I love it. I fancy the green space they put in each corner of the room. When was the last time you were there? I went there last Monday. What is special about that coffee shop? The drinks are what make them different. People are just addicted to full-bodied coffee and chocolate there. How do you know about that coffee shop? My cousin recommended it to me, and I did give it a try. Culture Which culture do you belong to? I was born and raised in America, where my culture was shaped. Is that a multicultural society? Yes, it is. My culture is a diverse mix of customs and traditions of various races and ethnicities. How long has your country been practicing those customs? Well, it has a long history, around 10,000 years ago. What custom do you like the most? I like practicing dining etiquette. That's what makes me American whenever I travel to other countries. What are traditional customs of men and women in your country? Cowboy hats and boots are American styles, but nowadays jeans and t-shirts are more preferable. Are you comfortable with the traditions and customs of your culture? Of course, I was born with it. How do people greet each other? Well, it depends on the situation. In an informal communication, people just say hi. Have you ever felt drawn to another land? Yes, I'm interested in Indian culture. I wish I can get there someday to attend a typical Indian wedding. Transport What is the most popular means of transport in your country? Most people in my country travel by car. How do you go to school or work? I prefer bus due to its convenience. I enjoy reading books while sitting on the bus. How often do you take buses? Every day. I went to school by bus two years ago, and the bus is still my best choice. Do people in your country like traveling by bus? Not really. They have their own cars. What are some benefits of traveling by bicycle? It's a good way of getting exercise. We can protect our environment as well. Do you prefer public transport or private transport? Public transport is much cheaper. Do you think buses should replace other means of transport? Sure. In the future, buses should be used widely by commuters. What does the government do to encourage people to use public transport? It's a good idea to make public transport as convenient as private transport. Besides, more campaigns should be launched to raise the awareness of protecting our environment. How has the transport changed recently? There are more cars in a household now than before, which partially leads to traffic jams in some cosmopolitan cities. Politician Who is your favorite politician? She's Hillary Diane Rodham Clinton, an American politician. Where is she from? She comes from the USA. Does she appear on TV? Yes, quite often. She usually shows up on TV in news programs. What is appealing about her? She's a Democratic politician. Is she famous? 
Yes, she's well known all over the world. Does she have great influence on people? Yes, I think so. She fights for human rights. She has a very controversial and influential speech that human rights are women's rights, and women rights are human rights. Do you want to be like her? Being a politician has never been my dream, actually. Why do you admire her? She's one of the few women who succeed in politics. What did she do that you can tell others? Oh, a lot of things. She cares for people's health. She also tackles the issues of adoption and family safety. Communication What's your favorite means of a communication? I prefer talking directly to people. How do you keep in touch with your friends? I'm so busy that I don't often hang out with my friends, so I usually get in touch with them using social networks or phone. Do you get in touch with your family by phone? Yes, I do. I live far away from my family, so a phone would be an ideal means of communication. Do you usually write letters or emails? I used to write letters when the internet hasn't been used widely. Now I prefer emails due to its convenience. What are some advantages of using a mobile phone? That's the easiest means of communication, I think. Mobile phones are portable. Just dial the numbers and you can immediately get connected with anyone you want. Do you like handwriting letters? Yes, I do. I like to keep handwriting letters as keepsakes. Do you use social networks? Yes, the youth now can hardly live without social networks. Do you need communication skills using social networks? Sure even in social networks. How have social networks changed communication? People prefer talking online rather than directly. Because the illusion of social networks, people tend to forget necessary skills to communicate with others in real life. Do you have good communication skills, in your opinion? Maybe, yes. People are quite happy talking to me. Business. Are you studying or working? I left school three years ago. I'm working now. Are you self-employed or working for a company? I'm self-employed. I used to work for a company two years ago. Are you running any business? Yes, I'm running a small business. What does your business sell? I make and sell handmade cosmetics. Do you have any difficulty when running that business? Yes, I had some difficulties in attracting customers at first, but everything is getting better now. Is that an online or offline business? I sell products online. It's easier to sell online than offline because I can take full advantage of my social network. When did you start the business? I started running my own business two years ago. What are some advantages of running your own business? I can take some days off whenever I feel tired, and I can make much more money compared to working for a company. Computer Do you have your own computer? Yes, I own a personal laptop when I was at university. How often do you use the computer? Almost every day. I can't work without using a computer. Have you ever joined any computer class? Yes, years ago. I learned about Microsoft Word and Excel. What do you use the computer for? You know, I'm an accountant, so managing business records would be much easier for me if using a computer. What are some advantages of using the computer? With a computer connected to the internet, we can shop, pay bills, or do bank transactions online listening to music, watching movies are even more convenient. Do you use other high-tech devices besides computers? Yes, apart from a computer, I also use a smartphone. 
Should children learn how to use the computer? Yes, I think so. Children should be given chances to approach the computer, but under the control of their parents. Exercise Do you usually exercise? Yes, I do. Doing exercise is one of my good habits. What sports do you play? Swimming is my favorite. I also play tennis. How often do you exercise? I go jogging almost every day before breakfast. When did you start doing exercise? Just last year, actually. Is there anyone who does exercise with you? I go jogging with my older brother. He's a good company of mine. What benefits can you get from exercising? Well, a lot. Exercise helps reduce fat and builds muscle. It also keeps me awake mentally during the whole day. Where do you exercise? At a nearby park. There are some exercise machines for people to use. Why do you exercise? I like moving. For me, life without moving is like a picture without color. Do people in your country do much exercise? I don't think so. They're so busy working that they forget to do exercise. What if people don't do enough exercise? Obviously, they'll gain weight fast and become obese. Goal Ambition What is your current short-term goal? I'm determined to get a scholarship to study postgraduate abroad. When did you start thinking about this goal? I started thinking about it when I left university. What difficulties do you have in order to achieve it? Spending a lot of time searching it, I haven't found any scholarships that fit my needs. Do you need any help to achieve that goal? I really need spiritual encouragement from my family and friends. Do your parents support you to achieve that goal? Yes, they do. They're always by my side and support me when needed. Do you think it's important to set goals? Sure. We all need to have some goals to drive ourselves towards them. Setting goals is a necessary step to do in order to succeed in doing something. What are the important qualities to achieve goals? Well, you need to be persistent to what you desire to get. Commitment and patience are needed too. Art What's your favorite work of art? There's a special photograph named The Napalm Girl. When did you see it? I accidentally saw it five years ago when I traveled to Vietnam. Where did you see it? In Museum of Vietnamese History. The photo was solemnly hung in an eye-catching position in the room. Why do you like it? The photo captured a naked nine-year-old girl running away from the napalm attack, which is really touching. What's special about it? Thanks to the photo, the photographer was awarded the Pulitzer Prize for Spot News Photography. Do your friends like it too? Yes, they do. The photo did touch their souls too. Do you want to be an artist? Nope, although I'm quite interested in art. What qualities does a person need to be an artist? An artist needs to be creative and sensitive to things around him, I think. How do children develop their talent for art? Children's talent for art should be recognized and nurtured as early as possible so that they can reach their full potential. Fashion Are you a big fan of fashion? Yes, I am. I believe every girl is crazy about fashion. What style do you choose to wear? Well, my favorite piece of clothes is a dress. Depending on the situation, I choose a formal or informal dress to wear. Do you enjoy shopping for clothes? Yes, I'm a shopaholic, actually. Is there any fashion icon 
who you want to wear the same? Yes, I admired Taylor Swift and wished to wear like her. Do you create your own fashion style? No, I'm not a fashionista, so most of the time I just follow the fashion trend. Do you prefer vintage or modern style? Why? Honestly, I love vintage style. Wearing classic clothes makes me feel like I'm special. Have you ever attended in any fashion show? Not in real life. I just watch them on TV. What do people think about your fashion style? I don't know exactly, and I don't care much about it. I just wear what makes me comfortable and confident. Are you going to change your fashion style in the future? Well, I can't tell. Maybe fashion is changeable, and I am too. Is fashion important to people? Yes, in my opinion, fashion can partially reveal who you are. Jewelry What's your favorite item of jewelry? Well, I have quite a lot of ornaments, but my favorite one is a necklace. When did you buy it? Um, I don't remember exactly when, but I guess I bought it years ago. What's it made of? It's made of silver. How does it look? It looks gorgeous with a ruby clover shaped pendant. Why do you like it? I believe it can bring me good luck in everything I do. What's special about it? I love the vintage style of my necklace. It really goes with my classic dresses. Does it remind you of something? Yes, I spent my first month's salary buying it, so the necklace encouraged me to work hard and earn more money every day. How much does it cost? Around $400, if I'm not mistaken. Do you usually wear it? Yes, I just wear it all the time. I'll be missing it if I don't see it. Cosmetic What's your favorite cosmetic item? My favorite cosmetic item is a cherry red lipstick. When did you buy it? I bought it in a local cosmetic shop. How often do you use it? Almost every day. I sometimes change the color. How did it change your physical appearance? Oh, at first I was hesitant to try because I thought it wouldn't match my skin undertone, but when putting it on, the cherry red color did make me more charming and gorgeous. Is it expensive? Nope, it is under $21 only. Is the brand name famous? Yes, I think MAC is well known all around the world. MAC lipstick is an iconic product of the producer. How important are cosmetics according to you? Well, frankly, cosmetics are really important to women, although I agree that the true beauty does come from inside. Is it important to have a good looking appearance? Sure, you will be given more opportunities if you're good looking. Are cosmetics harmful? Yes, I guess. Some toxic chemicals in cosmetics may cause skin cancer. Do you think beauty products are a waste of money? Not really, as for me, I just spend my saving money on cosmetics. Indoor game What indoor game do you like to play? Um, I'm fond of playing bowling. When did you start playing it? I've just started bowling. It's been three weeks so far. Who do you play it with? Most of the time I play with my friends when we hang out together. Sometimes I also go bowling with my cousins. Where do you play? At a nearby shopping mall. There is an entertainment area where people can play various games. Is it easy to play? Yes, quite easy. The bowler has to knock down as many pins as possible, ideally all of them. Are you usually the winner? 
Nope, because I'm just a beginner. My friends are much more experienced in playing it. Why do you like it? Well, going bowling is quite enjoyable. I love it when my friends cheer me up. Is it popular in your country? Yes, people play bowling almost everywhere. There are nearly 3,000 bowling centers in my country. What are other indoor games in your country? There are many, such as board game, table tennis, squash, boxing, and so on. Phone conversation. Do you usually talk on the phone? Yes, I do. It's a good way to keep in touch. What was your favorite phone conversation? It was when I talked to my interviewer. He did give me the good news that I got the job. When did you have the conversation? I don't remember exactly, but it's been two years so far, I guess. Who did you talk to? I talked to the owner of the restaurant, where I'm working as the cashier. What did you talk about? He offered me the position and congratulated me. Why did you find the conversation interesting? Actually, it was more exciting than interesting. I was waiting for it for so long, and finally, he did make it come true. Do you prefer talking directly or talking on the phone? Personally, talking directly is much better to me since it's more lively and authentic. Who do you usually talk to on the phone? I talk to my mom almost every day. I will be missing the conversation every evening with mom if one day she stops calling me. What are the differences between talking directly and phoning? Well, talking directly seems more exciting since you can see facial expressions. Eye contact while talking on the phone? You can only listen to the voice. Learning a second language Do you like learning languages? Yes, I do. I love traveling and talking to the local people in their mother tongue. What is your mother language? I speak English. What second language are you learning? I'm learning Spanish. I fell in love with Spanish when I traveled to Spain last year. Is that language popular in your country? Yes. People in my country come from every corner of the world, and Spanish is the second popular language spoken here, according to the statistic. How often do you use that language? Quite a lot. I see Spanish people every day in the restaurants, banks, or supermarkets. How long have you been learning that language? I've been learning it for five years. I'm in advanced class now. Why did you learn that language? I'm interested in Spanish culture, and I'd like to use language as a tool to discover Spanish cultural values. Who is your teacher? An old Spanish teacher. She can also speak English fluently. Why do people learn a second language? There are many purposes. Some learn to do business, some learn to travel, some just learn for fun. TV program What is your favorite TV program? Well, I watch a lot, but the one I like best is How It's Made. Is that an international TV program? Yes, it is. It's available in Canada, Europe, Australia, New Zealand, Southeast Asia, and so on. What is the TV program about? Its name somehow describes the content, which is about the process of making things like lipsticks, balls, candy, toys, chocolate, and so on. How often do you watch that TV program? Almost every day after dinner. Who watches the program with you? My family watches it together. My younger brother can't wait to turn on the TV. 
What channel is it on? A very common one, Disney Channel, which focuses on popular science, technology, and history. Why do you like that TV program? I love learning new things, especially about how everything is produced. I would love to run a business about handmade cosmetics. How does that TV program change you? I know more about the world around me. It also supports me in my career path to make my dream come true. Who is its target audience? It particularly aims at families and younger audiences. Would you recommend that TV program to your friends? Yes, of course. They would be crazy about the program, I bet. Architect Buildings What is the most impressive building you visited? It's the Patronus Twin Tower in Malaysia. Where is it located? It's located in the capital of Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. How tall is it? They were the tallest buildings in the world from 1998 to 2004. It reaches the height of 451.9 meters. Who was the architect? Cesar Pelli, an Argentine-American architect. Is it well known all over the world? Sure, tourists can't miss it when visiting Malaysia. Do you have to purchase a ticket in order to visit the tower? Yes, I do. It's sold online. When did you see it? I saw it two years ago. Will you come back there again? Of course. I'm looking forward to seeing again someday. Electronic media. What kind of electronic media is popular in your country? There are some popular kinds, radio, TV, and online news. What's your favorite kind? I like online news because I have to work with computers every day. It's easier for me to read online. Why do you like it? Due to its convenience. I love reading anyway. How often do you access to that kind of electronic media? Every morning before I start working. What's interesting about it? Instead of watching TV or listening to radio passively, I'd rather read and think about the news. Is it convenient to access that kind of electronic media? Yes, with a computer, smartphone connected to the internet, you can read electronic news anytime and anywhere. Does your family like that electronic media too? No, my dad likes radio and my mom likes TV. How has mass media changed recently? They're more modern and user-friendly.